Well, we're doing well. We are uh, half a minute ahead of time, so we can relax a little. And we now come to another classic, problem six, which is 2481. We have two metal spheres, one which has radius R1. It's going to be charged. Another one is not charged, which is very, 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 very far away. And we are going to connect this charged one with this one. And now you're going to see three concepts, three birds with one stone. The first thing that is important that you recognize, since all this is metal, that all this is a conductor, that as soon as they are connected, the potential of the two spheres is the same. There's no potential difference. That's number one. The second thing that you will find out is that the charge on the largest sphere will be larger than the charge on the smallest sphere. Maybe that comes natural. What is not so natural, perhaps, is the electric field at the surface of the smallest sphere will be larger than the electric field at the surface of the largest sphere. And all these three concepts come together in this one problem. We first put on here a charge Q1, and then it's not connected. And so the electric field at the surface, if you're interested, then would be Q1 divided by 4 pi epsilon 0 times R1 squared. And the potential at the surface, or not even at the surface, if this is a solid sphere, then the potential is the same everywhere throughout the sphere, would be Q1 divided by 4 pi epsilon 0 R1. That's something that should now be quite obvious after we have done this assignment. So now we connect, and charge is going to divide, and we're going to have here Q1 prime, and we're going to have here two Q2 prime. I now make use of the fact that the potential of this one must be the same as the potential as that one, and therefore Q1 prime divided by 4 pi epsilon 0 r1 must be the same as q2 prime divided by 4 pi epsilon 0 r2. And since you also know that q1 prime plus q2 prime equals q1, you have two equations with two unknowns because you know the radii and so you can solve for q1 prime and you can solve for q2 prime. And what you also see that this ratio is the same as this ratio, so it tells you immediately that the charge on this one is larger than the charge on this one. Notice this ratio is the same as this ratio. Now I want you to do the electric vectors right here at the surface and right here at the surface and you will then see that the electric factor right at the surface are going to be proportional to 1 over r. And so since r1 is smaller than r2, you will find that the electric field here is stronger than the electric field there because they are equipotentials, because they are connected. But I'll leave you with that part.